Hi Danny, my name is Kyle. I'm going to be your PT today. Right. I'm going to do a quick posture assessment. Um, so can I have you take off your shirt for me? Awesome, thank you. And just stand normally as you would. Okay. So what I'm looking for is any abnormalities or uh, asymmetries between his posture from his left to right side. So I'm looking and everything looks fine from straight ahead. And then when I look off to the side, what I can see is um, there's a slight forward head posture that he has. And things good. So good on that one. You can end that. <laughs> All right, Denny. Uh, what we're gonna do is you assess your cervical active range of motion for your OA joint. So what I'm gonna have you do is tuck your chin, and then bring it down, and then back up, and one more time. So he's uh, practicing his flexion extension, and what I'm looking for for the arthrokinematics, what's happening is you're gonna have a convex on concave rule, so it will be anterior roll with a posterior slide and uh, from the superior, uh, for the inferior facet to superior facet of the inferior vertebrae and then for uh, extension you will also have it going from a posterior roll to an anterior right, so slide. So Denny, what we're going to be testing now is your AA uh, rotation. So what I'm going to have you do is bring your right ear to your right shoulder and bring your uh, turn rotate to your left towards the ceiling and bring you back to center and bring your left ear to your left shoulder and then rotate rotate up to the right and so if uh, muscular consideration that we if Denny cannot get to a full uh, lateral flexion we want to support his arms with a pillow also, the arthrokinematics are that he will be rotated around, his atlas will be rotating around his axis. So, Danny, what we're going to assess now is your TMJ active range of motion. So, I'm going to have you open your mouth for me. And then, how many fingers can you fit, can you fit into? Okay, can we try three now? Okay. So, so arthrokinematics of the TMJ is when he opens his, when Denny opens his mouth, you'll have a posterior roll of the condyle and you'll have a posterior and inferior slide uh, at the early phase, and then during the late phase of opening, you're gonna move from a rotational to a translatory motion, and you will have the mandible going uh, anterior and inferior. Go. During closing, it will be the opposite of um, opening your jaw so or your mandible. So what you will move from a translatory, starting initially translatory, into a rotation um, for arthritis. Next, Danny, what we're going to be assessing is you're able to laterally deviate your mandible. So move from side to side. And what I'm looking for here is to make sure that the middle of his mandible can move from side to side, uh, at least one incisor length. Uh, next, Danny, what I would like you to do is to protrude your chin out and to retract it back in. All right, and I'm looking for any smoothness uh, with him opening and closing his jaw. I'm looking for any smoothness, um, any abnormalities, asymmetries between one side to the other. What now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, palpate your uh, TMJ. So is it okay if I put my hands on your face? Okay. So right now I'm putting my hands placed right in front of his external audio, audio me acoustic meatus. And can you open your jaw for me, Danny? And close. And one more time. And close. So what I'm looking for is symmetry on both sides, his willingness to move, and if there's a smoothness or any clicking and gliding. So Danny, what I'm going to test now is your tech, I'm going to do a tectoral membrane test. So um, is it okay if I put my hands on you? On your head? Okay, so the tectoral membrane restricts OA flexion. So what I'm doing is I'm putting Denny into a slight nod, a uh, forward flexion on his upper cervical at the OA. Alright, that's it. So Denny, what I'm going to do now is this sharp pincer test. Uh, is it okay if I put my hands on you again? So uh, this is going to be testing the integrity of the transverse ligament. So I'm going to put uh, one hand on the C2 and one on the forehead, and I'm going to give a posterior press on his forehead, back, and I'm just checking for the integrity of the transverse ligament.
um, any positive test, he will, Danny will have abnormal eye movement, profuse sweating, or paralysis of the face. What I'm going to assess now is your alloy ligament. So what I'm going to do is it, it um, restricts movement to uh, lateral bending and rotation to the opposite side. So Benny, uh, Danny, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to, I'm going to move your head, flex to the right. I'm also going to rotate it to the right. And it will pop into my left. The spinous process of the C2 will pop into my, my hand on my left that's underneath his head. And that's positive for his alar ligament. So what I'm going to assess now is Danny's transverse cruciate ligament. Now this limits anterior glide of uh, the atlas on C1 and C2 during flexion. So what I'm looking for is this sternocleidomastoid for his to find C1 transverse processes. And I will get my fingers right underneath that. And I'll gently glide up and hold that. One, go. So Danny, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to assess his suboccipital flexion and extension passively. So I'm going to put my hands on both sides of his head and I'm going to take him to a flexion and extension at the OA joint. And so the arthrokinematics of, of flexion and extension at the OA joint is convex on concave. So you'll have uh, in flexion, you'll have an anterior roll with a posterior side and the opposite with eccentric. Cool. So I'm going to be assessing Denny's OA in coupled rotation with flexion. So I'm going to put him into slight flexion and laterally flex his head to the right. You'll have a left rotation of his head and you'll have a posterior glide of his left uh, condyle. Uh, and arthrokinematically you'll have a convex on concave so you'll have the anterior roll with the posterior slide. Uh, AA rotation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock out Denny's neck. It was circle by laterally flexing him. And then I'm going to rotate his head to the left until I reach his end field. And then the arthrokinematics that we will be experiencing is you'll have a left rotation and with that left rotation you have a left posterior slide with the atlas moving around the dens.